Um, uh, pardon me. You are pardoned. I was really tempted to suggest to you that we should do like a series on your channel. But then I don't want to get my probably ass. Probably demonetized. Yeah. yeah, I don't want any future employers to look up my name and they see me being racist for the whole world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've True. just mainly been playing Skate 3 through that. Oh, Skate 3 is good. Yeah, that uh, shit. Very underrated, in my mm. opinion. Oh, shit. Not enough people played that. Where are you? Oh, there we go. Hello? You haven't customized at all. I did. I'm like an alien. Nah. What? That's fair enough. Yeah. I'm a little bit annoyed. Guess, actually, no. My, my guy, like, there's so many options, there, so I keep, like, doubting bullshit. I keep doubting myself. And I go like, oh, this shade's cool, that's cool, and I put yeah. it all together. Yeah, there's like, too many options. Gay. Yeah. Like, at the same time, that's kind of like the best part about it, is that you can, can like, create something completely unique. Yeah. As tosser as that sounds. And there's so many options as well, which I find yeah. is good and bad at the same time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, some of the options are just shit. Like, some of the helmets oh. that they're that are in this game are just garbage. They look like... Yeah, I like, agree. Don't get me wrong, I think it's the best looking helmets and armor, but there's just those few that just make me wonder who the fuck designed this. Like, did you make <laughs> this to look bad? Like, were you bothered when you made this? Yeah, I'm mainly I thinking you. of like the military police helmet, Ooh, if you know which one that it. is. The military police? Yeah, it's the oh, one that looks that like, the like the it's one got a massive like forehead. It looks kind of squash, yeah, it's Ooh. got a massive forehead. Kind of squashed. Ooh, big guy. I yeah, know, I, I think oh, I know. Fuck. Yeah, touch your gooch. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it's one of like the earlier helmets that you can unlock through the options and career shit. Yeah, I haven't played much Halo to be, to be fair. Yeah, I, I feel like I should to get more stuff. Oh, but. I mean, you can just do like the weekly, monthly ooh, shit ooh. or whatever. Little people. Go I got back you. Create. Oh, fuck me, the asshole. You know, it's a good movie it. I watched recently, but I can't take it seriously because of what I associate it with. Yeah. I watched The Wolf of Wall Street recently. <gasps> Brilliant. Movie. It's actually a decent movie. It's like, very, I love I it. I don't want to become a stockbroker. Like, I'm not that kind oh, of no, person yeah. that watches it once, like, yeah, dude, I'm going to fucking. I'm going to scam <laughs> the world. I'm going to become like Jordan Belfort and shit. Because. <laughs> Anytime yeah. I think of that, I just think of Ross. Like, I just Such think of Ross watching the movie and be like, Dad, I'm fucking studying, okay? Uh, I'm gonna own one day. Jesus. He needs Jesus, mate. <laughs> I've it actually... can't be Jordan. Yeah, because he got fucking sent to prison for three years and now he's a schmuck. Okay. I like changed the batteries in my look, look, mouse look, look, look. for a second. Yo, so if you could be a darling and you know what? I'm uh, just gonna hide. Help Ooh, me not that die. Was a bad idea. Yeah, come back to where we spawn. We okay. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you! Uh, oh, I, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. All oh, the yeah, the people out there. I'm very racist, and I apologize. I just walked back in and all I can hear you saying is I'm very racist. <laughs> <laughs> I just said I said the C word. Double O, the cheese. What? <laughs> oh. I'm dying, Liam. What's Whoa. going on? Like, no, there's a fat Donnie here. They're all fat. Ah. Oh, Please oh, work. I've got a suicide Okay, bomb. cool. My mouse oh, works. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh no. Okay. Oh, See, we're good. Oh, my I shield I saved dead. your ass, bro. Bubble shield. I love the bubble shield. <laughs> oh, fucking monkey. This. Oh! Easy. Oh my god, I jumped and like, they started suicide bombing right- How are we only on two lives yeah. left? Wait, really? Already? Yeah, oh, I think we're, we're not doing me, very well sorry. at the moment. <laughs> oh, fuck no. <laughs> Die. Die. Oh, no, 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 no. I got you. I'm getting you. touched. I got I'm you. Drop shield. Go away. Oh, bubble shield. Bubble shield. Hey, bubble take. Hey, oh, suicide bomb. Don't go in. Don't go in. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can't say that. Oh, I can't say that. Oh, I can't say that. Ah! Stop it. Yes. 
Your mother oh. is my friend. Ooh. In all honesty, I kind of like. There's a part of me that wants to avoid trying to make like gaming shit on my channel yeah. because like that's just the most generic like teenage YouTube thing to do. Like everyone our it, age, they immediately default to just like the gaming. Yeah, just gaming or like shitty skits. But I think it's like a mix of because they enjoy it and they know that other people enjoy it. So and I it's really it's easy content. Yeah, but that's <laughs> fair. I mean, good. I mean, oh, we got the I guess bombs. it's also sort of been oversaturated with like just you know kind of boring people because there's like those those really shitty montages where it's like super over edited oh. and like they don't have yeah. any personality and shit and i think I you know if we make know. good enough Go content away. it'll separate the good from the great and all that oh, you caught it. yeah no i get what you oh, oh, hello tossa you got it, you got it? I'm yeah, distracting it. Okay, okay, um... Oh, I'm reloading. Die, you fat, ugly piece of donkey shit. Donkey shit. You are oh. a... Ooh. Okay, there we, there we go. go. Teamwork. Squat on your brain, Power of friendship. Okay, oh! <laughs> Beat my Yu-Gi-Oh powers. <laughs> Part of the... You I uh, my dragon, bro. Oh, my dude. How do I summon oh. Dark Magician in this? Oh, I, I grabbed the laser cannon for some stupid reason. Oh, the spawn laser is kind of garbo. Uh, That's just my mm. personal opinion. I, I think it's just. I mean, it's good if you do it properly. It insta kills, yes. Yeah. It's better in three. It's really abusable in three. Yeah. Wait, are there any, like, big donnies? Oh, yeah, they're things? coming down now. These are the big donnies. Okay. Oh! Literally every enemy. Ah, go away, go away. And we gotta Hello. stick together so we Hello. don't, you know, lose Hello. our one life. Big boom. Bye! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, ooh! You're monkey mode. I was coming back to you. Yeah. I want oh, to no. Sorry. Okay. I think you're oh, gonna yeah. be the last one left. Yep. Oh, you gotta clutch fuck. up. You gotta clutch up, homie. Oh, I'm about to die, I'm about to die. Yeah, right. Fuck you. You gotta take one for the team. Brr -up. Brr -up. Brr -up. Brr -up. Oh, I killed him! I am <laughs> so... Yeah, I just saw the green shit. Come in. Puss yo, puss yo. Oi, are you getting rude to man? Yeah, man. Oh, hit you with the roundhouse. Send you back to Brixton. Bro, he's yeah, going all UFC there, on your ass, for real. What do you see? Mmm. Oh, oh no, you're so me. close. That's just hey, disrespectful. He'd be shooting me. I know, he's shooting me. That's just disrespectful. We I'm both did kind of badly, not gonna lie. Yeah. Okay, in, in our defense, we haven't played for a little while. Let's just be real. Yeah. <laughs> Watch me beat up a tank. Oh, oh. I shot a tank. Bro, Please, have you Johnny seen Nikocado? On the topic he's of dead. waterway, no, he's oh, on yeah. his he's he's on his last legs. He's on his way out of this world, shuffling off his mortal coil. Uh, I know Isaac though. Butterfield would be happy because he's like, Ugh. <laughs> I think yeah, his the time is coming. Oh, Isaac, but I think he, honestly, I like him and I respect him, but I he's think it. he needs better content oh, ideas okay. because. There is it's genuine criticism shit. in the people who say shit like, you know, all he really does is, yeah, make fun of feminists and vegans. Yeah, and which, it just yeah. gets boring. Like, like you said, it gets repetitive. Yeah, it just like, it just gets to a certain shit. point where it stops being funny. And like, you just gotta yeah. find new shit to be funny about, mate. Like, he's a naturally funny person. He's a professional comedian. Surely he can come yeah, up with something. Some you better know. jokes or something more funny, I guess. I, mean, I don't know, maybe... Like, yeah. Like, have you seen the video where he reacts to Nick Carter's Nick Carter's only, Nick Carter's only that I got was funny. Bubble Shield. Yeah, that was funny. And he <laughs> got his... She... What is his wife oh, or his what? girlfriend? Little Dixon or something? I some don't shit? even know, yeah. Little Dicky or something. Oh, no, Little Dick. Hard. I've got one know. of those. <laughs> but like... Put it there, brother. I feel like <laughs> maybe he th he feels like he's in a position where if he makes content that's like too drastically different from what people are used to, 
people are going to stop watching because like what really made him popular is the whole making fun of making vegans fun and of feminists yeah. and if he stops doing that then people are either going to love it or they're going to lose interest entirely and i think yeah, he's put exactly. himself into an ultimatum oh, these where two honestly fucking aliens keep touching me yeah the yeah, owl looking sure. motherfuckers oh um, fuck off mate. yeah I feel like, you know, I personally, I'd love it if he moved on to like different kind of content. Not like completely different, but if he talked about like, different see him shit. Like, play like a ragey game. Like, you know, uh. Yeah, I'd want to see him where... play games. Oh, you know that one where you're in a pot and the. Oh, like, getting over it. it to... Yeah, getting over it. I want to see him play that. That'd be <laughs> hilarious. Fucking dick sniffer, mate. <laughs> Go back to fucking Bondi, you filthy <laughs> cunt. He's probably a vegan. <laughs> Fucking bicycles. Oh, bicycles. Fucking cyclist, mate. Cyclist, there we go. You're gone. It's a bit old. You need to get on your grind, boys. How are you gonna get your money up? <laughs> boys. Boys. You Jesus must make money to speed. get the hose. I cannot oh, stand what? that. Can vent? What? what? I, I just went. Oh. Fuck off, I don't think there are ah. events in this map, Liam. I think you're just, like, breaking the game. Yeah. What are you doing to the game, Liam? You're destroying it. I touched its bitch. I said it wanted <laughs> it. I went into the code and I touched its bitch. I don't think it liked it very much. <laughs> Like I was gonna say the Gooch joke, that shit's never gonna stop being funny. I love bro. that joke, that one's so <laughs> I, I remember watching, um, uh, what's it called? No, Crazy no, no, no. Man. Crazy Man. Crazy yeah, Man. In, in English. <gasps> I, like, I was crying. I was dead. Like, <laughs> that, that shit is hilarious. The fact that man had the balls right. to call a police station. I know, right? Like, oh, fuck. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm oh, here. Touch I'm touch here to save the day. Thank you, baby. Oh, here to deck yeah, someone. Like that oh, that guy, I, I okay, respect him so much. Like, the guy has to have, like, yeah, huge he's, cojones to go after. He's earned our respect. Yeah. Oh, it was so funny as well. So racist, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was... People got pissed off at him a long time ago because they found out that he was just, like, a white bloke from Perth. And I was like... I mean... So like he's just trying to make a joke and like sure it's racist and all that yeah it's a little bit insensitive funny. and i can kind of see where people are coming from where like you know a white guy oh, making that sort tanks. of joke there's sort of like a limit i, yeah, I understand I where both sides are coming from with yeah it's just a joke but like they're really really insensitive <gasps> jokes what's going on yeah no i just sent an alien flying and i didn't even know how to do that you know that oh, they've got an engineer, goddammit. Ah, oh, shit. I oh, there's a... Why did they drop a tank? It's the smallest firefight map, and they drop the tank on us. I know! This is what pisses me off, because I... Literally, oh, the off. smallest possible map, I think, oh, in shit. the game. You touch me. Yeah. And they throw a tank on us. A fucking tank! Like, there's not much places for cover in this map, and we're just running around like chooks with no... Dicks, fuck <laughs> I don't think chickens have dicks either way, so. Oh, tasty. I think it's headless chickens, the word you're looking for. I'm an yeah, intellectual. Yeah, but it's out wrong because I died. Yeah, because you pissed off. Oh, oh, Where did he go? Good. I punched him and he just like went to the shadow realm for a second. Nowhere. Oh my yeah, I think god. He just popped out of the fucking. It, he I really threw a grenade game, and like, it landed on the hitting. inside of my bubble and I couldn't no, get out. You've got to no, clutch up wait. again, Liam. No, you've, you've got to win no, for no. us. Oh. Yeah, shoot me. I fucking dare you. They're going to shoot as soon as you come out. Beep. Thank you so it. much. I can I respawn can't. now. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Are you dead? Oh, okay. I was yeah. reloading behind cover in the stupid fucking tank. Alright. 
I'm gonna oh. go punch it to death. I love that oh, you wait, can punch the tank. Yeah, but we don't have any more lives. Look at me, Punjab. Hello. Can I land on the tank? This is a... Oh, come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come yep, yep, we're doing it. I'm punching it. Come here. I destroyed that. Holy shit. Hello. Um, hello. What do you need? Oh, um, my lord. Super. Oh, shit. We were having a hey, moment. Hey. Why are you interrupting you us? You stupid <laughs> aliens. Go back to where you got we came from. Oh, okay, I've been killed again. Blo oh, shit. I think I got headshot now. Oh, cool. So Watch oh, me. Oh, we got fat people. Oh, no. Do we? No, they're oh, skinny. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I, I, um, I got my dog. That is not healthy. Oh, don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Ah, yeah, 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 get on, bud! Mr. Smith moment. I am not Mexican. <laughs> yeah, come here, come here. U.S. border. Hey, go, go, go! Oh. Like, I need help, bro. Like, I, I'm, am... I'm dealing with my Let own stuff go. here. Uh, all right. That's my big gun. I want my big gun. Bang! Yeah. Bang! Oh, I killed myself. Fucking idiot. Right, clutch time. I got trigger happy. Oh, flying camera. Where am I? There we go. Where are you? Ooh. Ooh. Hula. Jeez. Stalin oh, on the holes. These holes are my bitch. These holes ain't shit. It's my it's house. So <laughs> this is my house, Eddie. <laughs> my house. Eddie. My house. Look at your Aunt Bunny, huh? Do you want to be like her? Falling down the stairs? Pull up. Ah. I like that in this game you can be space racist. I know, right? Like, I love discriminating against aliens. These stupid extraterrestrial immigrants. Oh, no. Yeah, bloody these, ethnics. These stupid... Intergalactic uh, ethnics. Ruining my game. You know what? You, you can edit this out, right? Oh, okay. These stupid alien Mexicans. <laughs> so build your First, there was the Mexican aliens. Now it's the space aliens. When will it end? <laughs> Where are you? Oh, my white Lord freedom. Like I'm not digging this. I'm backed into a corner. Wait, can I? How do I respawn? Would it automatically just go? Um. Is it respawning you? I don't know. No. I'm kind of. Is there like okay. a button I need to press? Or? No, it'll automatically respawn you if it has. Oh, the you got the to. chunky people. Yeah, I got the bloody oh, monkeys. I'm looking at one now. Oh, what? Yeah. I got headshot. Yeah. No. You got headshotted. Sneaky bastard. Stupid immigrants. The bloody Go bird creatures. They look like malnourished bloody stuff. pigeons. Malnourished <laughs> pigeons. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> There's someone on oh. your team called Bra Redditor, um, and that's just embarrassing. Yeah, okay, I killed the rocket launcher tosser. I've done oh, my I've done like God's it. work. I can get the rocket launcher. Can I um, I have the rocket launcher one now? Of your teammates just like oh I blew myself up. No. <laughs> I could have blown up their car and I could have done well. Wait, where's the rocket launcher down? No. There we go. I found the rocket launcher again. Wait, are you guys coming? I see you for line. Oh, no, 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 no. Why is the bridge so just thin? It's so... Yeah, I know, Yeah, right? narrow. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna blow you out. <gasps> That toss Big bad Renner, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you killed him. My true enemy. I'm gonna be waiting for you. Oh, 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 I'm falling off. Oh, maybe not. Why don't we have oh. any... Oh, okay, there, we have a there grenade launcher. That's We have a forklift. I'm in a forklift. I'm coming. Nah, 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 don't you get the me. fuck off my map. Battle you get the rifle. fuck off my map. You get your fucking dumb ass fucking redditor. I hate reddit. That website's shit. shit. Reddit? Yeah. I hate reddit There's no so saving much. it. <laughs> I just want to pick up the rocket launcher, please. I don't want to drive the forklift. Me and my guy, reddit. 
Bro, bro, I fucking hate Why did you dude. stop, you fucking idiot? <laughs> oh, you're a donkey. You're a literal donkey. <laughs> like, he was going full tilt. I saw and that. I, I saw he oh. just tumbled off. You fucking <laughs> idiot. Oh my god. You know what, Lucas? No. I'm coming for you. Yeah. Oh, fuck. You actually jumped that. Ah. <laughs> yeah, bitch. What? Fuck, I got Whoa. decked. I'm gonna steal your sniper, uh, your rocket launcher. Oh, oh you boy. are now, are you? Yeah, uh, uh, like, uh. I'm not even in my car. Oh, somebody's sniping me! Blah! Oh, I wasted that. Oh my god. This is why I need people like you. What the fuck? Okay, I'm j I've just been team killing people in my team. What? This guy's pissing me off. The Wee. big red That pulled up. Origin. That wasn't me, that wasn't okay, me, that wasn't, me. That, wasn't that. me, that wasn't me, that wasn't me, that wasn't me, you donkey, that was me. I'ma kill both of you. Uh -oh. Fuck off Redditor, you stupid piece of shit. Fucking I Reddit, I hate Reddit so much. Absolute donkey, wait, I'm... You know, sometimes I look oh. at Reddit thinking like, oh, I can't be that bad, and then I see some of the posts, and it's like, my mum told me she wished she aborted me, what do I do? And I'm like, yeah, okay, Reddit's that bad. Yeah. so hard to control on that platform. Oh, oh get fucked. Dumb mongoose, we're dumb mongoose. Oh, hello. Yeah, I got a mongoose, you can hey, afford you it. it. Oh, Surprise, shit. bitch. <laughs> if you shoot me, you are a civil... Okay, Bastard. I'm fucked up. I fucked up the Hello. car. There's no saving this. Oh wait, I have a rocket launcher. Oh, no. Okay, there I we go. Had a Fuck the bad runner. Some... I hope he breaks Tosser. his ankle. Big I hope he slips on a banana awesome. peel. He killed me. I will never what a figure out. Ah, please don't kill me. Oh, I'm hello. Friendly. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Yeah, I, I offered peace offering. Okay. Peace Ready? offering. Okay. Ready? Oh wait. What's going on? What's going on? Stand up. Crit. Peace. Peace. I offer you. I offer you everything I have. This <laughs> is a gun. And my... I don't know. Something. Wink wink. Hey! Wait, wait, what, what, what are you doing? Oh, that wasn't you, doing? you, that wasn't you. There's a guy behind you. Go away, you're ruining the moment! <laughs> 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 Fucking betrayal, mate. <laughs> I offered you my gun. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm friendly. <laughs> I He's killed one of my own people. What's this guy doing? That's fine. Eh? He's on the opposite team and he's just squatting on my forklift. Oh, yeah, no, that's what I they do when they want to, like, make peace and they want to, like, ride on your forklift. Oh, fuck your peace. That, so that sounds weird, but, like, you know. Yeah. There will be no peace. <laughs> you, I, I wanted to ride my fucking There will be no there. peace in my Halo server, okay? Wow. That's not allowed. I see you. The, there's a crit. Ugh. Oh, and it's, it's a person. Touch you. Fuck you, asshole. There's a moth lag. Pain in my assholes. Oh. This is my house. This is my house. Is it, how I is he dead? I've shot him so many times. Oh, Die. I hope Reno. You fucking fuck. You fuck. He's hacking. <laughs> He's hacking. He's hacking. Nah, bro. Nah, I nah. Don't, don't stoop to that level. Nah, nah. Hacks oh, my ass. I'm sorry. Who are you saying is hacking, bro? Yeah, of clips I put in his ass. And he still walked. Oh, you fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. You donkey. <gasps> Me and Khalifa? I'm going to pull up to you. Yeah, my team. Look at that low poly seagull. Look at that shit. That's crazy. Me and Munbun. Bro, Mun look at the seagull, like bro. Seagulls are crazy. That's fucking. How many chips do you think he's eating, mate? Sorry, you were saying? Like, me and Munbun, one of the guys on my team, Bun -bun. we were squatting together, sharing a beautiful moment. And what do you know? He whips out his rocket launcher and kills us both. Fucking dickhead. Yeah, some Romeo and Juliet shit, bro. Whoa. Whoa. Have you never studied Shakespeare before? Shakespeare's my uncle, bro. I fucking hate Shakespeare. <gasps> For all the whoever invented Shakespeare, Shakespeare I want to fucking kick him in the balls. Shakespeare? I hate Shakespeare. 
I hope Shakespeare. that he stubbed his toe like really badly back when he was alive and like the pain just never left him. That's right. I hope he got cheated on <gasps> by his wife. <laughs> oh no! I tried to get a refund from Steam on some like shitty indie game that I bought. And they're like, no, you played you too much of it. Like, fuck off, Steam, you tosser. Tosser, fuck off. Hope Renner gets- He's on a running gets... riot. How can you be on a- Oh, because you run- You kill people I'm smart. I hope Renner gets cancer. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to try kill Renner because- Yeah, you know what? They call me can- <gasps> Fucking brattish beef. Ooh. That's bullshit. That's I bullshit. Died. I fucking died. Radish beef. I hope be he right. develops a disease that makes him need to stop eating beef. Juice in Germany. <laughs> they don't eat pork. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. Juice syndrome. <laughs> I heard pork. And I heard, and just immediately. Oh, there we go. I headshot we, him. We Didn't even you. mean to. Like, if I can get home, yeah, you know what? It. I'm taking this. I am taking this. And I'm, I'm gonna, gonna try and make my people. way to you and just wreak havoc. If someone it's gonna be a menace. Can someone. Oi! Bombaclat, dude, whatever your fucking Bomba name Clat. is. Bombaclat. <laughs> can you take this guy? I'm here to kill British. Me too. Fuck. Stupid. Can, take, piece of, oh take my the god. Ghost. Move it this out of my way. Armor locking. Move it out of my way. Piece of oh, ding this motherfucker. Dick, you're a dumbass. My teammate. Oh my god, you're actually retarded. I need this ghost out of my way. You're a fucking donkey, and I hope you die in a hole. <laughs> you're a I'm so stupid. Donkey. I kept shooting. <laughs> I kept hitting the fucking ghost, but no, they don't move it. Because they're not. They're special. Uh, I'm in a forklift, and I'm dead. Oh, cool. I killed you, apparently. Fuck you! <laughs> knocked it off. He's about to knock it. Oh my god! Move! I'm going in the hole. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is my hole. <laughs> oh, that'd be right. Ah, uh, hello. Hold on. Stop moving hello. for a second. Stop moving for a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hop on. Let me hop on. Let me get on. Can you get on? Oh, this guy. Oh, you know. Let me on. Can you get on through the back? Can oh, try it? Hey! Wait, don't you dare kill him, mate. Yeah, shoot him. Oh. Ah! Oh. Stupid oh. motherfucker. Some guy with a ghost. <gasps> I blocked the path off. I'm so cool. I killed no, the person who killed you, I think, maybe. Thank you. Wait, oh, no, you? that's you, isn't it? That was me, that's me, that's me, that's me. No, 117, you fuck off, man. You get your dumb ass out of here, boy. You know what? I'm shooting him. I'm shooting him. Once he's out, I'm, he's dead. Get your dumb ass out of Oh my god. Oh, good man. Thank you. See? You're helpful. You're helpful. I hate you because you killed Lucas, but you're a fucking... Yeah, Lucas wisdom. No one kills the wisdom, bro. Wisdom, yeah, wisdom, wisdom never good. sleeps. Wisdom never dies. Yeah. Wait, post that? Po uh, post that. Post that on your story, bro. <laughs> I want to release Spread Lucas out. Wisdom Good merch. Day. Oh, look, there you are. Now shoot him. My team better shoot him. Mm. Oh, look at that triple kill. Oh, you, kill you killed them all. Holy shit. Not all of them. I hate this that tosser. Guy, this toss, bloody bastinator. He's done nothing but kill me. I have not killed this person Bro, once. His tag is Uwu. This guy has no. He needs to have his human life. rights revoked. Ooh. Oh, I think I've got the grenade launcher. Do you think the Taliban banned furries? I don't see why not. Oh, I mean. someone drove into my rocket. What a <laughs> fucking idiot. He should have just known. Oh, there Hello. you are. Mm, yeah, you yeah. did. Oh, there we go. What well, yeah, uh, I, yeah. I swear, bro. Half of this footage I can't even use because we're just going to get our asses like reported to the police for it. Hello. Goodbye. Oh no, you got a rocket <laughs> oh. Bra Brattish beef. I'm an essential Brattish worker. Beef. Yeah, that tosser, buddy, Mr. Uwu. I hate that tosser. Oh, dickhead. Dickhead. 
dickhead man. You yeah, who's then you come to near fam? Hey, what you trying to see, fam? You, 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 get you getting rude to me, fam. fam. You getting rude to me. Hey, yo, fam, look at him, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look Dude, at his yes, man. I Who's miss still? unknown JM. You know, he oh, still replies to my stories. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I love him really so much. Beautiful, man. I mm -hmm. still remember we was in history and says, isn't the capital of Germany Frankfurt? And I'm sitting there thinking, no, it's not Frankfurt. It's fucking Berlin. He's a donkey, that kid. Like, it was just funny to see some of the shit out. Some of the... Yeah, that's right. I die and you put a bubble here. Fuck you, cunt. Yeah. <laughs> but like, some of the shit that he said, it was so stupid, it was funny. Like, because I remember he's like, why do we need the sun? We live in Prosper. Like, by ourselves. We don't need the sun. And then oh, me, like, Alex, put up and a fucking drop Shannon were like, oh, like, uh, solar energy and all that. It's like a good way to um, get energy. He's like, yes, but the sun is horrible for it makes cancer because of yeah the, but like if we didn't have the sun nine out of ten plants wouldn't grow exactly we said that as well and it's like no plants grow from the soil <laughs> <laughs> they need water idiot. not sunlight they're opposites <laughs> have the, oh shit. are you fucking dumb <laughs> <laughs> did you get do you not get taught this back in primary <laughs> school are you not educated? Alright, go. Go, go, go. Go! I'm not moving. Dude, I can't imagine how, like, Dang. how amazing this would be if you had, like, voice chat to just verbally oh. abuse your teammates. I would. I just killed my... Did I? Did oh, I? there we go. I thought I killed my in a vulnerable position. <gasps> <gasps> the weed whackers. Vulnerable position. The weed whack. Is that what we're going to call it now? For some reason, I, I thought of this as like a lawnmower. Like, yeah, one of those like drivable lawnmowers. Yeah. So I thought, fuck it, weed whacker. That's right. like a wrestler name. <laughs> they call me. Weed he's like a really straight edge. Fuck. You. He's a real like straight edge person. He hates like drugs and shit. He's the weed whacker. Yeah. He just finds stoners and beats the everything. shit out of them. <laughs> you know what, mate? Oi, mate. You know what that drum's gonna do to your body, mate? It's not as bad as what I'm gonna fucking do to your head. If you don't quit it. These kids here, mate. I'm gonna fuck you up more than the way he's gonna fuck you up. Who's end you come to now, fam? Your fam, you wanna repeat your farm, that, fam? Your fam, you want to pull up. <laughs> pull up. Pull, pull up. <laughs> pull up. There's like a proper like traffic jam in here, for real. Oh, I got a triple kill! Yeah, I saw them all die in front of me. That was you. That was so cool. Yeah, You're that was evil, me. man. You're like Thanos, bro, for real. Click. Oh, damn There's like a little gap. Which whoa, 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 whoa. Get your dumb oh, ass you out of here. Oh, you found a gap. Oh, you. Hey, oh, fam. The man they no, don't want this, fam. Huh? Like, team killing is really funny, as long as it's, like, not me who's being killed. You're like a second nation to me. Oh, no, 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 Okay, cool. That's crazy. What was that? Smoke. You're smoked up, man. There we go. Yo, fam, you smoke me. Yeah. Me and the man then go and pull up, you know? Oh. This is Khalifa. <laughs> I beg it, dude. Come out of that drop shield. See my big fucking gun. Yeah, what? I can't imagine you with like a real gun. Okay, cool. Headshot. Oh shit, someone. I'm out of ammo. Oh, that's you. Ah, uh, please. I fell off the map. That, that. Oh, I got a double kill. Oh, that's, that's just a that. hologram. Oh, what a dumbass. Oh, that's actually a This boy had me fooled. Oh! Fool, Whoa, oh, there's you. Hey, I deployed a hologram. Oh. Now oh, it's whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Lord. Oh. <gasps> Khalifa's gonna die. 
Oh, look, yeah, a Kalifa. whole team. What, bitch? What? Bah! 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 Oh, they smacked me. Bop. What? Both of these nerds. No. We're killing the sussy imposter. Stop oh. being so sussy, bro. Bro, that's not punching. <laughs> I killed Mia like. Khalifa. No whores on God's earth. <laughs> There's a guy on my team with like the number 666 over his head. He's kid. very edgy, very cool. Wow, the devil's my friend. <laughs> Bro, have you seen those yeah, TikTok kill me. Satanists? You have a rocket launcher and I'm touching you. Which one? Have you seen like the Satanists on TikTok? Uh, oh, is it the one that you did your English assessment on? Like, no, 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 no. They're these, like, they're these teenagers. They're all, like, really homosexual. And they run around thinking that, like, because, like, Satan... Because God doesn't like gay people, that apparently Satan does. What? And they think that if they pray Satan, then apparently they're gonna, like... He's gonna love them in the afterlife. And they think they're really like owning Catholic people, and that's why I really want to like become Catholic again. Yeah, that's. And good. like, this, the like these skinny ass twig children running oh, around I like know. I'm gonna beat up any always, Catholic I come across. Reason, it, for some reason, it's always the anorexic. Yes, yeah, anorexic edgy, edgy kids edgy. with like the shittest opinions. I know. It's like always the anorexic edge lords. Yeah. Ah, like, oh, the church did this. The church did that. Eh, eh, eh. Like, like so I'm not the denying that the church is shady, but like it's better than yeah, praising okay. a goat, man. I feel he's a fucking exactly. goat. He's the good. Exactly. You eat the goods. You don't eat goods. And rude. like the fact that they only praise oh, it because apparently to. he likes gay people. Like, what is your proof? That's just stupid. Like, like Satan, he's the literal embodiment of everything that is bad. In a person and, and in the universe, like, do you really think he's going to be like, "I love you, little Miss Homosexual. I accept you, and I'm an LGBT ally. I love you." Like, no, he's probably going to, you know, burn you to death. See, what some of those people don't recognize is that God is all accepting and all that. It's just the people. The people who wrote the book earth. are a bit odd. Exactly, exactly. It's not God himself. It's the weird pedos. And I also, like, oh yeah, we're gonna make. And I don't get that. why they're trying to blame God for their problems. Like I don't necessarily believe in religion too much. Like I'm not a very religious person, but I can still respect people regardless of their religion. Satanism is not a religion. At least this it, form of Satanism that they think they're doing, that's not a religion. That's just, you know, anorexic kids it, being fucking edgy on the internet. Yeah. Nah, but again, they think they're like, they think that they're owning all of Catholicism by praising a goat. Like, you just look dumb. You just look they really look very dumb. stupid. I saw this one where, again, he's, he's built like a twig, right? Okay, I could arm wrestle him and win, right? Like, he's that skinny. Even I could beat him. You could break his arm if you arm wrestle him. And he sits there and he's like, I became a Satanist. Yana yana yana, and then he hits like some pose that Satan did. It wasn't even Satan. It was fucking Baphomet, who isn't Satan. So he basically went to Google, found like this copy paste of a picture of a demon, and then he like did the same pose as the demon in the photo, and then made some like like epilepsy fucking like. I don't know how to describe it, but he photoshopped a goat's head on top of his and then like tried to give me a seizure and then started playing like really annoying dubstep music and was like, get owned Catholics, like shut up. Yeah, what's up. your obsession with dubstep mu music? Like I hear a lot of them playing dubstep and shit. It's, it's just like, dubstep died a long time ago, man. Yeah. And sure, it, it was alright back then, but like, now, really? Hmm. I still don't get that these people are the ones who are like, you need to be more accepting, and then they're the ones who like, go out of their way to be mean to someone over their religion. stupid, yeah. 
they're the ones who are like, I fucking hate Catholic people, I hate white people, like, that's not very accepting, is it? Yeah, I know. And I hate those people who are like, I hate white people because... Yeah, and they make uh, it their whole the fucking personality. Exactly. And then, oh, have you seen that white guy? He's like, I, I actually identify as Asian. Like the guy who I got plastic surgery people. to look Korean? No, no, it's just some white bloke who's just like, I don't like white people, so yeah, I'm Asian, accept it. Just doesn't make sense. I've seen a lot of videos, like, either like a what, like a skinny white woman or some like soy boy looking white guy who's like, white people are the oppressors and I think they should go extinct even though he's like the whitest motherfucker on the planet. Yeah. Have you seen that guy? Wait, is it the really skinny guy with the glasses? That's all of them, bro. For real, they're all just skinny oh, white right. guys with glasses. Glasses, and They're like, yeah. we need to make Doing white fair. people extinct. And he gets all his brownie points off Twitter and he feels really good about himself. Oh, the people on Twitter need Jesus. I hate Twitter, man. Like, I'll open it up. Twitter and Facebook, fuck. I don't like, even need- Oh, Facebook. Ugh, I don't- I haven't touched Facebook in my entire life. No, it's just life. like a platform of conspiracy theories and it's just- Ugh, I feel like- Because like my dad uses Facebook. That's what I was about to say. It's just full of old people at this point. Yeah. Old people and anti-vaxxers. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean- I mean, Some I went on Facebook work. once, but I ended up finding, like, a video of a guy, like, putting kittens into, like, a vacuum seal bag, and then, like, closing Why? it. I don't know. Nice Facebook work. is just... It's just Facebook, man. People... Yeah. Oh, man. I feel like people who use Facebook over-excessively need help. They don't have like, lives. Literally. Like, the ones... they need something. They're the ones Fuck who they get need, like they need they need a loved one. <laughs> they, they need a like, love for real. They need God, bro. Bro, they need yeah, exactly. They need God. There's nothing on this earth is gonna help them. They need some celestial help, bro. Ugh, Facebook users, man. The fuck, we're gonna do about it. Oh, that's your hologram, you sneaky yeah. bugger. Did I do it? No. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm the wall. Fuck you, fuck that. Shit. Can't kill me if I kill myself. Osama bin Laden, 2000. You know, I've had a perspective change as of recent. You know, because, like, I decided to look through a Bible because I saw so many Satanists and I started thinking, you know, maybe I'll give this a crack. And. I decided to think, right, that maybe I don't strictly believe in the religion, but I can see it as a book of teachings. I can see it as a book of wisdom rather than a book of rules and laws. Yeah, I like to think of it as a way, like, a it's sort of ancient guideline to, like, point people in the right path. Yeah, a not way of guidance. And all that. Yeah, yeah, a way like, of just, comfort just, and guidance, just, not... Yeah, just to make people, like, care and be good people, like, not kill each other and all that. Yeah, it's like a There's rough guideline people. rather than a strict law that you must abide. Yeah. Like, some I don't parts think it's strict of it... at all. Pardon? Like, I, I don't think it's strict at all, like... Some of it, offering... some of it is. I, th in yeah. my opinion, some of it is. Like, I like to think of it as, like a guideline as to say this is right this is wrong this is how we can live in harmony and this is what we should avoid from like just a, a general outline on how to be yeah good like fucking animals in general. there's a whole verse in the dedicated yes. to if a man lays with an animal he and the animal must be killed which i mean yeah i agree with that I mean, that's but yeah oh, i see where you're coming the from animal though. Depends. what what do you whoa whoa, I mean, whoa, the whoa, animal whoa. Would be, what, what do you mean, like... What do you mean by animal the... depends? No, 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 I mean, like, the... Liam. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, explain no, I mean, yourself like, first. I mean, like, if the guy fucked an animal, yeah, sure, kill the guy. But, like, 
Uh, yeah, but the animals. Yeah, the animal would be by, by the. Yeah. No, I don't think it's out of a morality thing. I think it's because, in like, in a god sense, in a religious sense, the animal's been tainted by an animal fucker. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Like the animal like, me, has, has been ruined. Animals shouldn't die. I mean, if it's like a pig, yeah, kill it, and make some bacon. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Like, have a good barbecue. You know? Yeah. See? Mad headshot. But like. I think it's, yeah, the animal has been tainted and it's been involved in an unholy act. You need yeah, to, you know, send it up to God where it can be comforted for the rest of its life. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> he touched me. <laughs> he said it was my father. <laughs> but yeah, some, some parts of the Bible I do agree with, with the whole, you know, morality, the golden rule, treat others how you want to be treated. That's pretty standard. Um, the yeah. whole, you know, you must love your enemies and shit. I do think there is truth and wisdom in that, but other parts of it, I just don't agree with, with the whole, I can't think of specifics, but there are just parts of it where it claims, you know, like the happiest man is the one who is content with God. And I don't necessarily think that's true. You don't yeah. need to be religious and you don't need to find comfort in God to be a fulfilled be and successful person. Yeah. You know, some verses you in it Some verses in, in general, it claim that that God is the answer to everything and I just don't agree with that. I think that God can help you find answers and I think that religion as a whole is a great compass for a person. But I yeah. don't think religion is the be all end all of finding guidance as a human. Like I don't get the Amish people. Like they live. They take that shit the too far. Bible to the T. Like it doesn't make sense. Yeah, the sense. whole like, beard thing. But I know, right? And the whole like it's no shit, phones like, and shit. Like oh yeah, God didn't invent phones, so it should not be used. Like that pisses me off. Yeah, if like, I can pull up in the God horse didn't and chariot. God create clothes, but you still wear them. You dumb fuck. Yeah, but Jesus like, wore clothes. They find so many oh, workarounds right. for that shit. It's like... I know. Yeah, Jesus didn't have an iPhone 12. I so feel you like... Shouldn't. I feel like it was the whole um, Mormon... Not Mormon, fucking Amish thing. I reckon it was come up with by, like, a dumbass who didn't know what, like, interpretation of the Bible was. And he just took yeah, it all at face cool. value. He just thought that, like, this is just straight up law now. Yeah. And they just took it far, like, to a T, like you said. And he was just so fucking, like, batshit dumb. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't agree that it should be followed to a T. It should be interpreted yeah. as, oh, fucking me, Khalifa. Some yeah, parts of the but, Bible aren't very easy to interpret, though. Like, again, yeah. the whole part that I mentioned of, you know, he is the most righteous as a man of God, I don't think, it's, it's a possibility, but I don't think that that's a strict law, you know, there are plenty of very good people out there who yeah. aren't, you know, Catholic. Mm. There I, are just... I feel like, like, what was that saying again? A man that follows God, what was it? Like the most, uh, most righteous man follows God or something. A lot of it is just the good people follow God. I which... feel like it's the other way around. <laughs> um, I like, think the priests have a, given a person... themselves a bad name, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I, I feel like I feel like it's um instead of the most righteous man follows God, I feel like a man who lives life is like you know a man who lives faithfully. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like he's uh, um praising God through his life. Like he doesn't fully have to thank you. Uh, he fully doesn't have to show it. He doesn't have to live by the word. He just needs to appreciate. Yeah, it just has the faith that begun. God will be there exactly. for him, and that will help him be a lot more content with life. And I see where you're coming from exactly. And what I think, where I think I'm shooting myself in the foot, is that I'm a very pessimistic person. You've seen this firsthand, <laughs> and I just don't have it in me to have complete faith in a religious deity, especially like God. You know, I can't really sit myself down and Ooh. think, you know, God's going to help me through this. God's going to get me out. I'm more of, I need to get myself through this. I need to yeah. be strong for myself. I can't rely on someone, especially not God, to try and get me out of this. I almost envy people who do have that faith 
in God who think, mm. I know he can get me out of this. And they can find that peace within themselves that everything's going to be okay with God. I just can't do that because, again, I'm just, I count on myself more than anybody else. You know? And I mean, that's fair. I feel like that's a lesson in itself because you can't always be dependent on other people. There's yeah. some things in life that you're going to have to do by yourself. You need to and strike a balance. I feel like that's balance. a good learning curve. Like, it, although it could get hard, like looking to God can help. But yeah, it can provide all in comfort all, to the down right to person. Your decision. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. He can be seen as like a guide point or a compass rather than a solution. Exactly. You know, it's like a map, you know, what you're looking for is the X on the map and he just provides the map that's there. You need to go and find what's actually present. Yeah, exactly. And I think that the kind of people who take it so literally that God will do literally everything for them, I think they're taking it a bit too far. Again, with the Amish and shit, uh, it's a bit much. It's a bit much. It's just very excessive. Like, it's not definite law. Because that, it, it doesn't make sense. Like, how... Like... God intended us to evolve. That's why he put us here in order to teach future generations and spread the word. But like, what's the point of living in the past? Yeah. There's no because point where they're inhibiting themselves in human progression. Exactly. They're, they're not evolving. They're just sticking to what their ancestors did. And to be fair, I, I understand tradition and all that. And that's all good. And that's well, beyond tradition, like, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's way beyond tradition. It's just some people who are like, I don't like change. Yeah. Change yucky. I feel like, like if you really took a step back from it, they're sort of doing what God doesn't want them to do because they're not learning from the past. They're just staying in it. And they're exactly. not progressing themselves the way that he would have wanted them to. Exactly. Again, though, I feel like you need to strike a balance between God's teachings and your own learnings as a person, because you can't rely 100% on what the Holy oh Book God, says. Yeah. I'm becoming more and more religious as we speak. I called it the Bible, <laughs> now I'm calling it the Holy Book. I missed this myth. The Holy Book. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, it was me. Ah, oh, I'm good. Oh, <laughs> me. But yeah, I... I in a way, I sort of envy people who find comfort through religion because I just can't do that for myself. And me personally, I can understand why people take comfort. But yeah, like, I yeah, can understand it as, as well. As a person, as a person, yeah, like I, I do envy them because, like, although it's not there, like they still have that sense of like reassurance. Whereas yeah. me, like, ah, it's like, like a pat I, I feel on the like back. I should be doing something. Yeah. I think, you know, you can only be self-reliant for so long before you really do need to turn to someone or something to help you through it. And for exactly. some people, that's religion. And not even just Catholicism, it's literally anything. Mm. I reckon... I, I like to think of it this way, like, God created men, right? Mm-hmm. Like, God, he, he's always here for us, right? But, like... I feel like he put like a mother and father for us, or a brother or sister, or friends, even at that matter, as a teacher, in order to comfort us. Yeah, to t to teach us and comfort us, because he can't personally come down and do it himself. Like he put people yeah, he... here for a reason. He put he, he put them here to teach us lessons on how to become good people. Yeah, humans are meant to, to like, teach each other. Exactly, not kill each other to teach each other. That's why I reckon. But the thing is, people who find comfort in like prayer and all that, like I feel like they have that mentality that although he is he's not like here, like physically, he's always omnipresent. Yeah, and he's he put people here in order to fill his space because God can't physically be here, so he puts people here in order to comfort us and do all that. Stop. I feel like you could see it as that humans ah. are here as a way to sort of reinforce what the Bible says in its exactly, teachings. Yeah. Because a lot of the Bible's teachings come down to treating others 
and the like the way that people interact. You would want to be treated. Yeah. I also feel, I feel that. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, no, you go. All right. I feel like with some people, you hear it. You hear this so often, right? Because you hear about like the starving kids in Africa and shit. And you hear people say, "Why would God allow this? Why would God let that happen?" I feel like there again, people are putting too much faith and power in God to where they see him as this all sort of completely powerful thing. I think, again, he's more of a compass point and a guidance because why would he let that happen? Because it's your responsibility to help them. It's through his teachings that you need to get yourself up and rather than ask him for help, you go in and help them yourself using his teachings. Exactly. exactly. You can't just let him do everything for you. He's there to point you in the right direction so that you can make the world better. It's exactly. not his responsibility. Exactly. He's just a teacher. Like Mr. Exactly. Smith. Mr. Smith is God. Fuck yeah, he is God. He is. He's an incarnation. I think I'm becoming people. Catholic. I've talked myself into becoming Catholic. We should make our own form of Catholicism where like we teach Fuck this yeah. form of Catholicism. And then we'll start a cult, and then we'll make everyone kill themselves. Oh, like the space people. With yeah, the, the space of heaven's gate. Nah, we'll cut that yeah. part out. But for real though, oh, yeah. I think that, you know, this is an important message that we should be spreading. I don't know. Maybe we'll become that. religious zealots. <laughs> and we'll start <laughs> we'll spreading preachers. our own religious beliefs that God isn't sort of a solution, but... Yeah. A, not a solution, a but a means to an end. Yes. Bro, we're like the second coming, bro. We're, we're philosophers like now, man. We're, we're philosophers. Dude. We're we're Christian philosophers. Bro, we're fucking prophets, dude. Fuck it, man. Like, I'm gonna get out legit. the Bible right now. I was no, reading the Christian Psalms dude. to try and find some wisdom. Oh, like, Songs of Solomon apparently is a very good place to find wisdom. I'll I'll read some of the ones I read last night. Some of them I do agree. I'll read the one that I agreed with. Yep. Strap right. yourselves in, people. Psalm God 1. Is coming. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sin, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. Well, I think what I could interpret that is, you know... A happier person is a moral person. A person who treats others well is going to be happier than someone yes. who just goes out and treats people like shit and splurges all the time. Exactly. That's because it'll no, lead you to no, better self fulfillment. Like, I don't get people who help themselves. Like, I get there, there's like people who have a mindset like oh i need to help myself in order to become better yeah and i can accept that yeah it's reasonable but, but it's the people around you that influence you as a person you don't influence yourself as a person i mean sure you have your own interests and all that but it's other yeah, people you're around shaped you. by the people around you exactly exactly so like if you don't care about the people around you you're sort of like like it's not the best thing Sure, you can think about yourself every so often. Do You're not doing what's enjoy. best. Exactly. You're not doing what's best for others and yourself, basically. And I feel like sometimes that's what the Bible tries to teach. Like, yeah. love thy neighbor and shit like that. Like, I, I reckon that's the true message. But some people just go, oh. Yeah, they it take it as a like, rule book. I know. And it's just like. I think, yeah, what just, you just said. Just everyone in general. I think like, what no you point said. Yourself. Yeah, I think yeah. what you said it basically sums it up perfectly. It's sort of like a a thing for life where your sort of purpose to be put here is to help others learn and to become a better person yourself. And it's your responsibility to teach and to be taught. Exactly. Because that's that's just human beings like that is one of our main purposes that's been ingrained in us yeah, for over centuries. I mean, 
I mean, like, yeah, look at look at cavemen, for example. Like, they had to teach... Fuck you, mate. That guy's a dickhead. Yeah, they had to teach their kids how to hunt in order for them, once they grow up, they'll be able to provide for them and their families. And that's just been a primal instinct that has been uh, brought down to us. In yeah, the human compassion times. to want each other to succeed. Yeah. And, I, and I feel like the Bible is like you said, a compass point in order to ingrain these um, uh, prospects and stuff in order for us to learn from previous mistakes and to basically live as good people because there's no point living like dickheads because where's that going to get us? Yeah, you're only going to make yourself hated and it's only going to come back to bite you in the ass. Again, not even the Bible, but God as a concept because honestly, I don't really believe that there is you know a big man on a cloud that's watching over us i think god as a concept you could see him as a metaphorical teacher he doesn't exist but it's like he's like a stand-in for a set of teachings he's like an imaginary mr smith he's like chantel we know that chantel doesn't (laughs) exist but (laughs) just (laughs) i know that sounds dumb but he's like a chantel where it doesn't exist but you still follow the teachings as an arrow in the right direction yeah exactly yeah because again if if people really do believe that he exists and that's fine that's the way that they interpreted the bible that's what they've been taught what they've taught themselves yeah. it's just the way that they've developed you know there's nothing really the wrong with thing that is, like some people can't accept it like they take it way too literally like sure i mean god could be real there might be something there but like i feel like prayer is a way to reflect on yourself rather than communicate with god I yeah mean, sure, it's a way to look maybe. within and try and find a solution using I the mean, compass that god is we don't know for sure that God's real. I mean, it's good to know that there's someone looking over you and all that, but I feel like... There's the comfort behind you. You can't necessarily communicate to them. I feel like you communicate to them through your actions and your thoughts. Again, I think the true form of communication is sort of taking a look at the Bible and taking a look at the teachings and seeing what you can draw from that. It's not like a whole holy moment of god coming down and saying you must do this it's more of a you know what has he told me in the past and how can i apply that to this situation you know how can i improve this situation using what i already know what has already been told to me yeah because people throughout their lives they're gonna hit roadblocks they're gonna hit like issues and shit oh shit like i feel like Oh, stop shooting me. <laughs> but, like, I feel like if the morals of Catholicism or any religion in that matter were taught to them as a moral compass in, like, in, in a younger age and all that, they would have some idea on how to cope with these problems. Yeah. Where I, I'm not saying, like, people without religion are, like, going to find yeah, life hard. Yeah, doomed or no. anything. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm saying, like, oh, go away. I'm saying... No, no, don't go away. Um, uh, what was that going to Yeah, I'm saying that pe- like, people who struggle, they can use the Bible as a moral compass, but they can also use other people because other people... Yeah, it's people's purpose they, to teach each other. Exactly, to teach each other. Like, I'm not saying you don't need faith, but I feel like... You just need the necessary requirements of faith in order to believe in something, whether that be people, whether that be God, whether that be Allah, for example. Yeah. Like, in order to believe in something that is good and to uphold the rights of that good thing, that is perfectly fine, and that's what's going to make you a better person. Yeah. Yeah. Again, he's a compass point. It's not a be-all end all solution yeah, exactly. it's a means to an end and it's exactly what we're doing now it's humans helping each other move forward helping humans exactly. find each other a solution and it's all you the know? selfish people like I, I like i'm not pointing people out but like the anti-vaxxers for example oh yeah like they're, they're being very selfish they're not they're only thinking about themselves like i understand if it if it's like affecting your jobs but like there's a point yeah like, there's sure, a you could be outraged and be like mate 
Like, but do it peacefully. There's no point in violence. Because this is some primal shit that we've been dealing yeah, with Yeah, you're reducing yourself. Now. Exactly. You're only making yourself and society worse. Like, you're not achieving your goal. Because people are... Oh, shit. People are only going to look at you like you're a tosser, basically. Yeah. Because you're hurting people. You're, you're causing more problems than there already are. Like... People aren't gonna look at you and be like, "Oh, uh, I, like that cause looks uh, like really, that really speaks to me. That 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 like is something we need to change." No, they're just gonna look at you. It's like, "Oh, he just he, he that's the guy." Yeah, if you're being like, loud being and mean sh- about it, you're not spreading a good message. Exactly, and if you're spreading fear and all that in order to scare yeah. people into getting your way, that's fucked. That is fucked. That's like, that's one hundred percent not the in, right way. Yeah, like You're if you did teaching. it to educate people, like to educate people, like really educate people with like proof and shit like that. Yeah, perfectly fine. But like people have their have the right to choose what they believe in. Yeah, but they don't have the right on how they approach it. In order, like for example, like violence that's yeah. not a good way to approach it whereas like like uh, i don't know for example like a, a debate that's probably a better way to talk about problems yeah rather than going oh, i want to riot I yeah rather than cr- cramming it down someone's throat exactly like it's not their fault they're just trying to do they're just trying to live their lives but like if you make someone else your problem then yeah you're a dickhead Some people don't. Some people are just... uh... Yeah. That was a very good talk. I think we've gotten very far. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, people do need to hear this. Because people either take it too seriously or not too seriously at all. Yeah, no, like they either completely dismiss line. it because they take, again, it all comes from taking it at face value. People take it too seriously from taking it at face value, and people don't exactly. care about it enough really? for taking it at face value. Like, with exactly. the whole, I was going to mention this earlier, that it's, again, it's a guide point, it's a compass, it's not the solution to everything with the whole thing in Leviticus where it says a man shall not lay with another man. It's mm. not saying you could you could certainly interpret it as you shall not do this. I, I understand perfectly if you interpret it yeah. that way. But I think again, it's a teaching. It's a it's more like a suggestion almost. It's a thing that again you don't have to take everyone's advice. You need to find your own way through. And exactly, again, yeah. if you think it's questionable and you don't agree with it, again, that's fine. It's making like, you better I'd as a person. Keep it to yourself, yeah. Like, sure, you can like tell people about it, but like, don't overdo it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wait, with being gay or with not being gay? No, like, say, say some. Oh, some guy's running me over. Oh, shit. <laughs> but say, 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 like, some guy doesn't like gay people. I mean, sure, you, you can not like gay people, that's fine. It's not the greatest thing. Again, you could like, see it, you could interpret that as being a teaching experience of what exactly. people are like, how you can deal with people. Everything could be a teaching exactly. experience. Exactly, but you can't just be like, I don't like you, so I don't want to deal with you. I'm going to make your life a living hell. Like, personally, I don't agree with that. But yeah, some you people should. Just it's like, a stupid thing to hate someone over. Exactly. I feel like hate is really stupid like unless they affected your life in a really dramatic way say like some guy killed your brother your mother your dad yeah that's uh, fine you can that that makes sense to hate someone because they've impacted your life to the worst but like just saying you hate something just because you like you you just think it's bad yeah there's no like, there's no good basis for that hatred. Yeah, I feel like you can't hate it. Sure, you may not like it, but you Yeah, can't hatred is hate not it. the right word for it. You could say you hate it, but it's not true hatred. I think hatred comes from being personally affected by it. 
like you said, if someone kills your brother, mother, sister, father, whatever, that hatred is well warranted because it personally affected you. It's, you know, it's someone... It's justifiable. You know, affecting you personally. Exactly. But again, that hatred, you could use it as a learning experience as well to, again, I don't... Another thing I sort of disagree with with the Bible is the whole forgive your enemies and love your enemies. Yeah, I was just thinking... I think too. people need enemies because it helps them grow. Again, grow a, a person, human's yeah. purpose is to teach and learn on this on this planet, right? It's exactly. No one ever said it had to be peaceful learning. No one ever said it had to be peaceful teaching. It all teaches us a lesson regardless of if they wanted to or not or whether or not they wanted it for the better. They could be a complete asshole about it and they'd still be teaching you something. And they're still fulfilling exactly. their human purpose by being bad. Now that's not excusing bad people, that's not, you know, justifying bad behavior, but it's an opportunity for them to learn and it's an opportunity for you to learn. It's an opportunity for them to teach you and for you to teach them. Teach them, exactly. Because there's no point yeah, I reckon you should help your enemies. Try, I mean, and, sure. try and show them a better right. way. Yeah. Because there's, there's no point being like, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate yeah, you. Yeah, over because such things like that, ideology. I know. But like, if they're willing, like my thought, my thought process is this, if they're willing to make a change in order to... Uh, better themselves themselves as a person they've already and learned exactly they're exactly they're willing to learn and they're already learning they're which fulfilling is good their and that's that's the only way people are gonna resolve their issues and problems because there's no problem shutting there's, there's no reason why you should shut people out no and i, I feel think... like it's always good to put yourself in the other person's shoes yeah be because it allows humility. you to understand Exactly, exactly. It allows you to have some compassion for the person and allows you to understand their situation as well. Again, it's a learning experience. And I think exactly, it has taught yeah. both of us to be better people. That, you know, we should both try and find a peaceful solution rather than just shut them out and tell them, no, I don't like you anymore. And, you know, to try and value each other. Both of us have learned to value our close friendships better. Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. Oh, that's nice, though. That's very good. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like th there's no point. Like, say if you, you have, like, a conflict with a partner or a friend or yeah. parents. Th there's, there's no point. Like, there's literally no point in... Oh, whoops. Oh, shit. There's no point in, like... Um, what am I trying to say? Continuing there's no the point in preempting what they're gonna say because half the time it isn't true. Because you're thinking about what they're gonna say, you're better off like putting yourself in their shoes. It, yeah, it try just, it from like, widens perspectives. your perspective. Exactly, it widens your perspective and goes, huh? There's so many reasons why they're acting this way, and I can help them with this. Sure, not all the time you can help them. Yeah, some people you can you find just can't. ways to help them if you can't. But and that makes yeah. me wonder: what do you do when there's someone who you just cannot come to an agreement with, where you just cannot teach from them? You can learn from them, but you cannot teach them to be better. Them, yes. What do you yeah, do exactly. then? What happens with someone who's just so incredibly disagreeable, egotistical, and just yeah. so? sort of selfish that they don't want to change for other people and they don't want to learn from their mistakes I what happens like then that's where i'm completely unsure and again I i'm sure like we can try and find point, yeah i feel like at that point it's like you, you you can't do anything so you have to leave them alone eventually this will all stack up and they hopefully I'm going to say hopefully, yeah. would understand. Ooh. There's no guarantee yeah. that they'll learn, but there is the chance. Exactly. In the future, there's a chance that they may recognize their, their faults. And, and become a better person. Exactly. But 
in the moment, if they're not, stop running me over, dickhead. It's better if to leave not, some people to their own devices to find it for themselves. Exactly. But in order, oh fuck. Oh okay. In in order to leave them alone, I feel like you should make a genuine effort to help them. And sure, I'd say try it at least three times. And whoa shit. And if by the end they're still not willing to make a change, then I'd say th there's really not much you can do. Yeah, there's only so much you can try to help someone before they just need to help themselves. Yeah, exactly. Because in the end, some people you just can't get through to. Yeah, they and need to find it for themselves. I think it's I think it's a bit you know, we've come to a revelation now that it's only taken me this long to realize that, you know, I could try and find wisdom from other sources like the Bible or other religions rather than just from myself. Because exactly. as much as the Lucas Wisdom thing is a joke, I have genuinely been trying to find answers for things that I don't have the answers to. I've been trying to think to myself. it's good that you're posting it on your story. Yeah, because some, it, majority you know, of it's shit. a joke, but... I think just like oh, personally yeah. with myself trying to find solutions to problems that I genuinely don't know the answer to and I'm just ch it's like a dog chasing its tail. I don't know what to do but I'm still just trying it. to find it and still trying to find a solution that isn't there that I don't that I yeah. can't give myself and that's where I need to turn to other sources like talking with you, talking with other friends, reading the reading a book, reading the Bible, the Quran you know, reading old mm. teachings from literally anyone. Yeah, legit though. Everything is a I've, compass point. Because I feel like religion is a very good compass point on how to like find some answers about yourself as people and all that. But like, how to yeah, learn like to you be said, there's so, there's so many more sources that can help you. Yeah, not just the like, Bible. There's so, exactly. There's so many sources and like, by expanding your horizons, you're oh fuck, you're finding new ways to help yourself improve as as a person. And like you said, teach other people how to become good people. Like these sources are everywhere. It's just a matter of people giving it's, other people the chance to accept it and become better through. And it's a matter what of what, what you can like sort of interpret from it and what you can realize within yourself from it you know yeah even reading things like the art of war from that old chinese guy sun Tzu, you know you could still find wisdom from that even if it's about such a destructive and evil thing you know you yeah. can only you can still try and find life lessons from it it all depends on the perspective that you're taking going into it Exactly, exactly. And again, like you said, it's a it's a great compass point. And I think that religion and just teachings and humans teaching each other as a whole, it's learning to be human. Learning how do we in interact with each other. Because being human is that. It's how we treat and talk to other people. To others, yeah. It's the I way that we approach things. It's not just living and breathing and going to, to work and doing a job and making money and buying the latest thing and you know eating as much as possible it's mostly about trying to reach our own fulfillment and help others reach their fulfillment in learning exactly. how to be human because if you find your own fulfillment it's not going to be oh shit That's once you found your own fulfillment it's your responsibility to help others find theirs yeah, exactly. Because there, there's no point in finding your fulfillment if other people don't uphold the same values as you do. Because what do you mean by that? Yeah, now now that I say that, it sounds a bit weird. Well, I mean, like, you said there's no point in finding your own, but I'm not. Oh, I'm, no, no, I'm no, not no, saying not, it's wrong. I'm I mean. just saying like, what's your perspective with this? Because you know, it might be a different perspective to mine, where I think that you need to find your own first before you help others find theirs. And oh, yeah. maybe you incidentally like, help others find theirs. Like, again, for instance, with the yeah. whole, you know, Finn thing, he didn't mean for us to find 
better ways to treat others, but it still did happen. We still yeah, helped each other. And it was incidentally, neither of us have found our own solace, and yet it still happened. Exactly. Yeah, but what I mean by, like, uh, finding your fulfillment, I feel like it... There's no point finding your fulfillment if you don't help others reach their fulfillment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That sounds better. Yeah. Like, because in, for me personally, I feel like to find fulfillment, it's to help others reach their full potential and to find their own fulfillment. Maybe that's your fulfillment. It, it could vary yeah. very differently between people. You know, take, uh, sorry for cutting you off, but take like artists and oh, things, that's their fulfillment. And maybe exactly. it was themselves, or maybe it, uh, with a lot of artists, a lot of it comes from within the soul and how they truly feel. The people who influence them to feel that way could, you know, indirectly be considered as helping them find their own fulfillment. Yeah. yeah. You know, take, what, what is it, Picasso, for instance, first name that came to my head, Picasso. He was, you know, scarred by war and his own deteriorating mind that he found his own fulfillment through the atrocities of others you know through the horrible thing that mm. war is it still helped him become one of the most prominent and well-known artists in history yeah it's exactly. such a horrible thing that war is but it still helped to produce one of the greatest artists that anyone has ever known yeah it just really shows how like a lot of conflict although it, it, it's it may be horrible but in the end, it will help you so much. Yeah, in the end, it produces more. Yeah, like I'm not glorifying war or anything. I'm just saying, like, war's not all evil. Like, there's still a little bit of good that comes out of war. As cringe as this is, it's a learning experience. <laughs> now, oh, what Hitler <laughs> did was kind of bad, you know? If we're going <laughs> to be honest, maybe we shouldn't kill Jews. That's a good start. But yeah, I get what you mean. And even with another thing that came to my head was Van Gogh, his horrible mental health, you know, depression, his, I think his brother killed himself or something. And that just made him so much worse. And his brother did such a terrible thing. It hurt him. It scarred him so much and it negatively affected him so much. But look at what it produced. Look at, you know, how it helped him reach his fulfillment in that, again, he became one of the greatest artists in history even though so many horrible things happened to him. Yeah, He went exactly. completely off the deep end and it cost him his sanity, but he still found his purpose. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I feel like everything happens for a reason. I don't, like, I don't personally subscribe to that idea. I, no, feel, I feel like, like you could glean a reason. meaning from anything, but I don't think things are set up in like a timeline oh. fashion. Yeah, 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 sorry, yeah. That, no, 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 go on with what yeah, you were sorry, saying. That, that, that came out wrong. But, oh shit, that was you, dang. Yeah, that was me. But like... Oh! <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean like, um... Yeah, like you said, not everything's pre-empted. And like, not everything is like, done because... Um, you know, someone said so. Exactly, yeah. But, like, I feel like there's purpose in stuff that happens. Yeah, it, but, it, like, it, it, it sort of depends on how you look at it, you know? I could yeah. stub my toe, and I could think, oh, I stubbed my toe, ow. Or I could think, you know, what could I try to do, do to that avoid again? that yeah. again? Or what, you know, maybe uh, I need to focus on walking differently. I'm reaching for straws here, but you know what I mean? The smallest thing, yeah. and you could look at it in a certain way that helps you find a better meaning for it. Yeah. Like, I don't want to get too deep, but like, <laughs> even death. Like, the loss of a loved one. Like, it, it, it's very sad, it's very depressing. Yeah. But in the end, it helps a lot, like... It really does, because I, I remember, like, when I lost my grandmother. Yeah. Like, she was a very influential woman in my childhood. And I will always be forever appreciative of that. But, like, when she died, it was pretty hard for me and the family. Of course. But, like, in the end, after after everything, I, I appreciated, like, 
her more, I appreciated life more. Like, it, we, we take so many things for granted. Just even, like, even stuff that makes us angry. There, there's still purpose in those things. Like, there, there's, there's purpose in everything that we do. And there's purpose in everything that comes towards us. But it's up to us to grab that purpose and use it for ourselves to make ourselves better. And make and something to, out of it. Exactly. And to help those who have lost their way and, like, other people who are dealing with grief, lost sadness and stuff like that. To find some comfort in knowing that it will it will get better. You will find comfort in knowing that this is just a part of life. This is something that happens. And we have to cherish these moments before we eventually can't experience them anymore. See, again, like what I said earlier, terrible, horrible things happen or happening but it led to your own wisdom it led to further life experiences and it's indirect yeah. teaching your grandmother even exactly. beyond the grave is still teaching you great teach things you. Exactly. about life she's still Memories fulfilling so a pur- she's still fulfilling like a human purpose even if she's yeah. not with you anymore not there exactly and again i think yeah. that could be a great comfort to a lot of people in knowing that they they could still be affecting someone and still be making things better even if they're not physically around yeah exactly like there's a there's a lot of people out there and i and i feel like like i'm not saying heaven isn't real but like we don't know what happens after death yeah they rely on it as a scapegoat yeah but it's somewhat reassuring because you don't want anything bad to happen to your loved one yeah but like it it's what people do with their lives that have a knock-on effect with some people. Because my grandma always told me, like, uh, to not get angry with yourself. No, with other people. Think of how they'd feel. Think, what is their perspective? What, like, how can you help that person even though they hurt you? Because in order for them to help you as a person, in order for them to, for you, oh fuck's sake, <laughs> it, for, in order for you, for them to become a better person, they need to be put in the right direction. They need to be By you. helped out. Exactly. And that's something I've, I've held on to because that shit's helped me out like a lot in life. Because of course, not not everybody likes me. And I mean, that's you can't fine. People please have their... any, everybody, you know? Exactly. People have their own perspective on what they deem as normal, what they deem as cool and shit. Like, I have my own perspective. It's, wh- it's whether or not people take it, like, badly, you know what I mean? Elaborate on that. So, taking yeah. what badly? It, it's, it's like, it's whether or not Okay, how do I put this? It's whether or not they use their actions to portray their hatred for something. So, you're saying that if somebody is hurting deep down, and if they act out and, you know, hurt others, rather than trying to console themselves and trying to help others with their own grief, Mm -hmm. you think that that's what it sort of depends on? Yeah, that's what I think. Because, like... Some people have their own reasons of why they lash out, and I feel like that's fine. They can do that, but there's constru- in essence, more constructive ways. Exactly, because in essence, basically, like they're not really getting anywhere. They they're just holding themselves back from finding their own way. But exactly, exactly. In a very weird roundabout way, you could look at it as. Um, you want to hop on a firefight or something? Because this desert bus shit yeah, sure. is... Um, in a roundabout way, you could also consider that they're teaching people by acting out. In the weirdest oh, yeah, ways possible. Yeah, true. It's still... It would be better for them to find their own solace. And their own... 
you know, way. But it is. Oh, I think it separated us. I'll invite you back. Ah, oh, sweet. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean, though. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, I feel like people need to hear this because. Yeah, we're philosophers now, like, man. Yeah, no, because I feel like some some people. Oh, there we go. Like some people. I feel like they need to hear this. Like, I feel like they're a little bit lost at the moment. I do I think like... that, not to, you know, suck it, us off, know. but, like, I do think that what we've said here does have a good meaning. And I do think that exactly. what we've said here... Hell, I'm come, I've come to a personal revelation, you know? Yep. I've We've helped ourselves at the moment right now. We've come to our own agreements, uh, mm -hmm. uh, agreements with ourselves. Yeah. Like, yeah, in order of helping ourselves, I feel like it opens the perspective of other people. Like, they can use some of the shit that, that have happened to us as a way to find their hey, I own think you're solutions on... to their problems. Do you think we could be considered as philosophers? I reckon. We should write a why book. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> because why not? May as well help, help some people before we pass. Yeah, we'll help. Um, act out our human purpose. Exactly. Teach others and learn from them. That, that'd be good. I feel like they should. Have, oh shit! I feel like we should. They should have like philosophy class. I know they have it at. Uni. I would want to learn that at our school, but with the teachers that we have, oh, preach. We'd be learning the wrong things from them. Yeah. Like you, you need some. They need to, like, hire a new teacher. They, I think they do. Some teachers have got to go, man. <laughs> oh, preach. Some of them, for real. Vandermeer needs to go. Vandermeer. Vandermeer. I've Ooh. learned more life lessons from her than I have learned science lessons. Exactly. She's taught me not what, uh, what not to do with my life. But what to do. Yes. I've discovered that my purpose is to not do science. <laughs> my purpose is not to become a fucking science teacher. <laughs> Again, hearkening back to what we've said, in a roundabout way she has helped us and taught us in the strangest yeah. of ways. Like, to be fair to her, and I, I know she's not the greatest person, but yeah, there's still a lesson in what she's doing. There's a lesson in people's lives, come to think. Mm. Because it's your own choice that impacts your decisions. And how you would go. Oh, no. Because some people might think what she's doing is great and they want to be her and... That's yeah, unlikely, but we'll roll with it. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> like, every person's life has the... Oh shit. Has the ability to influence people to follow their dreams and be the best person they can be. Yeah, teach them what they want to do. Exactly. Stupid suicide bombers. I'ma be honest, man. All this talking and shit... Like, my thoughts have just gone kind of slow. I've, like, philosophied myself Me out. Me too. Me too. I want to go back to telling jokes and shit, man. I don't want to be contemplating my purpose Life on this shit. planet. and <laughs> Yeah, Catholic philosophy and shit. <laughs> Same. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, yeah. If we were to make a religion, we should have, like, a mass that goes for, like, 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> We're learning from the mistakes of Catholicism of having one-hour masses. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, though. No. Yeah, those like, masses are way too mass long. Not. That shit, nah, nah, nah. Oh. That, ain't, that ain't the way to do it, chief. That ain't help either. I'm shooting this guy. The rocket launcher! Ah. See, in a, in a really w roundabout way, we could use this in uh, oh. SOR 1 and SOR 2 studies of religion. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, we'll, like, we'll cite, if though, this goes up as a video, we'll cite this as a source. 
Yeah. Oi, that'd be so sick. <laughs> Imagine, like, for, like, a religion or something. Oh, it's okay. a religious philosophy channel. I don't think you've ever heard of it, mate. It looks yeah. a bit familiar. I mean, it's not us, but it's, like... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's Evan. It's my cousin. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's my nigga. There we go. Oh shit. You're good? Yep. I hate how you can't get headshots on these guys. It's possible, but it doesn't really do much. Ah, oh, we got it. I'd say that the shit. shotgun and the needler is best to take care of them. Ah, yeah. oh, the bloody owl looking motherfuckers. I hate them so much. Oh, I had a rocket launcher as well. I should have saved a few bullets. The thing is, like, they're really, they're really sensitive to like weapons you can get headshots with because their heads are just so massive. But I don't have oh, headshot weapons. People. Yeah, the weird-looking bird motherfuckers. Dude, I don't shit. have any headshot weapons, so I've got to take it like the yeah. long way. The long way. Yeah, I have to they shoot them and punch them one. instead of just one tapping them. Yeah. I feel like you know. We'll, we'll go on a tour, and we'll start giving seminars and shit, like men's health and fitness. <gasps> like, like the, oh, uh, like that black guy that we what? saw. Oh, yeah, why don't you go to church? It's boring. <laughs> boring. It is like That is the only thing I remember from that, that day. There was some, like, drug addict who, like, stopped That's being a drug addict. As well. And he was like, yo, yeah. I found God, dude. And then there was that guy who said, why don't you go to church? Cause it's boring. It's boring. <laughs> I mean, he speaks facts though. I mean, like that guy. I'm glad that he had like, the self-awareness to actually address that yes, church is boring. And he tried to teach us a new thing instead of trying to go with the same old, ah, oh, but God loves you. Instead, he tried to take a different approach and actually try to relate to what we actually thought. Exactly, because I feel like uh, people take the wrong, like, route, because they go, oh, we try to make it fun for you, and it's like, well... Yeah, but does it, you know, you mean anything at the end of the day? Exactly. It's like, it, yeah, it's just weird. Like, you can't try to teach, you know, thought and philosophy in a fun way, because you're either going to lose the message, or you're just going to corrupt it. Exactly. You know, if you have people the... play like philosophy tag, where once they tag someone, they need to say like a philosoph philosophical quote, they're just going to learn to hate philosophy rather than, exactly. you know, exactly. learn something from yeah. the experience. That's a really bad example, but you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I get you. Go away, go away. Oh, I need help. Oh shit! Fuck! 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 Go away! Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> All right, enough philosophy. <laughs> We've had enough philosophy. Enough. For today. <laughs> All right, let's kill some alien immigrants. Yeah, I reckon after this game, I'm head off. It's getting a bit late. Yeah, me too. Ooh. Fucking yellow people. I mean, <laughs> aliens. Yellow aliens. Not stereotyping them or anything, no, no, no. Oh, grenade. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, I need help. I'm fucking bad. Shit. Stop, 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 fucking fuck, fuck. <laughs> ah, hate the yellow aliens. Nearly said people. Oh no. I'm learning as person not to rely. Oh, bubble shield. Oh, it's about to go. Ooh. Oh. Oh shit, sorry. All good. Last man standing. Uh, oh, yeah, you're on your own. Sorry, Ray. Oh, actually, no, no, I'm respawning. Yeah, just respawned you. So big. I don't know why, yeah. but I feel like we should play like a game. You know the raft? 
The raft. Yeah. Like is that raft the one where there's like again? the sharks and all that? Yeah, yeah. I feel like building games would be pretty good. I mean, I'll see. My, I don't know if my computer could run it, but I could try. If it's cross-platform, no. we could try. I think it might be. I might be wrong, but nah, I'm not sure. But I feel like it's worth a shot! Yeah. Oh. Oh, shit, he's alive. Fuck, 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 shit, fuck. <laughs> I know we said no more philosophy, but I'm really glad that we had this talk and all that, because I think we... No, me too. I revealed more to myself than I think I could have by just sitting down in the park and thinking about shit. Because mm. I, I feel like it's good to talk to people. Because mm. you learn so much, and you can take on their experiences. I mean, not experiences, like... Oh, you get what I mean, though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, it's just good to... Explain your problems. Explain your philosophies. And don't go to church, because it's boring. It's boring. <laughs> Like, it, it's annoying when they when they try to cater to the young kids and they're just like, oh, we're yeah, gonna Jesus have Sunday. is bad, bro. Oh, it, it's like you know the Christian youth song. Yeah, yeah. that guy, yeah. Rapping that guy took it too far. You're That's on your own Jesus now, Christ man. Christ is my best friend. Oh shit, okay. El Cluche. Oh, and I dug myself a hole. I'm on the other side of the fucking map. Oh, shit. that's a lot. Go of... away. <laughs> Gotta go, oh shit. Ooh. Oh, it's only 10.17. Hey. Oh, wow. Yeah, because my dad shit. came and was like, don't stay up oh, too oh, late. Oh, 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 oh. I, like, I died, ah. shit. Rest in peace to the lad. Lay in the knee. Real good talking to you, brother. Very good talking to you. I hope you have a great night. You too. I hope we've learned something from each other. I feel like we have. <sighs>